next two speakers are hardworking women from the Manchester 912 Project, Lisa Gravel and Pam Smith. May I have a big warm of applause for these two ladies. Thank you. Uh, has anybody seen my teleprompter? But I'm bump. All right, I guess I'll do it the old fashioned way. Uh, here we are, five days away from the most important primary in my lifetime. It is our job to make sure we send the right person to the general election in November. Hopefully we have all educated ourselves and are prepared to do just that. Something I have personally, personally realized is that it's not always the establishment pick. Think about it. Isn't it the establishment responsible for the mess that we're in? Republicans and Democrats alike. Washington seems to have forgotten that they work for us. I hear a lot of people saying we need to implement term limits. Well, the Founding Fathers set up a system that does just that. It's called elections. When our representatives lose their way, it is our job to send them packing. We need to hold them accountable, hold their feet to the fire. I urge everyone to stay engaged even after the elections. With that, I will let Pam talk a little bit about our group. Thank Hi, Omer. Thank you all for coming out today. In March of 2008, the 912 Project took on a life of its own, and we've grown in membership to over 500 since its inception, just in the Manchester chapter alone. We've spent the last year having all candidates that have accepted the invitation to come in for Q&A along with Liberty Groups, Voter Fraud Awareness Groups, and many other New Hampshire-based activist groups. We hold our monthly meetups at Murphy's Tap Room on Elm Street the second Tuesday of every month. Due to the primary and general elections, we've held off on these meetups for September and November. Once the primaries are over, we uh, are going to try to get an October meeting scheduled so you can meet the local candidates as well as the primary winners. We've heard many people say that the Tea Party movement will fade away after these elections, but I can assure you that the 912 movement has no intention of doing so. However, this ultimately rests upon our shoulders. We cannot fall back asleep after these elections. We must continue to educate ourselves, stick together, and make sure that we, the people, hold every elected official accountable. Apathy is not an option anymore. We hope to see the numbers in attendance grow up to and after these elections. We owe it to our founding fathers, our troops, all who have served and paid the ultimate price, as well as our children and generations to come. So stay strong, keep a stiff upper lip, and let us continue to fight to get our country back into our hands where it belongs. Thank you all for coming. God bless you, and God bless Mary. Lisa, great speech. Our next order of business on the agenda is some more patriotic music from Jerry D. Jerry? <laughs> 